Tonight, a Bloomington business owner's support for police made him a target for vandalism. This name painted on his business this morning. Tamir Rice is a 12-year-old boy who Cleveland police, uh, sh Cleveland police shot and killed two years ago. Vandals painted it across the storefront after this business agreed to host police for tonight's National Night Out events. New tonight, RTV6's Chance Walzer has reaction from police and supporters. National night out in Bloomington. We're jumping. Joey's police are here. Community members are here. They're talking. They're getting to know each other. They're having fun together. This message inside tonight, they say, is far more important than the one left outside this building earlier this morning. Power washers have their work cut out for them. Didn't come off easy. Um, it's been really hard to get off. Um, I'm not sure how they put it on. Big and bold across the front of Jumpin' Joey's is the name Tamir Rice, tagged on by vandals in apparent protest after the Family Fun Center agreed to host police for National Night Out festivities. We were saddened by it. We, we were, uh, it's unfortunate that, that someone, uh, you know, vandalized this business. Shocked. I couldn't believe it. Business owner Chance Jeffress stunned, then confused, then frustrated as he processed the scene. I think the ultimate target probably was the Bloomington Police Department, but to put that burden on the back of a small business, I mean, we've got a crew out here been cleaning all day. Work that comes, Jeffress says, with a bill in the thousands. Rice's name made headlines in 2014. Cleveland police shot and killed a 12-year-old who was playing outside with an airsoft gun. <laughs> Now Bloomington police and supporters gather inside after walking past the name illegally applied to this wall. And the message perhaps intended is not the message received. To uh, spray paint somebody's business is it's just not, not okay. We thought it was completely inappropriate and ridiculous. It's sad that someone would vandalize a place like that that's here for, it's a safe place for kids. Chance Walser, RTV6.